I figured I'd show this. This is uh, my daughter's cell phone. Um, she dropped it and the glass got all shattered on it, but it still works. So I ordered uh, another one off of eBay that didn't work. And uh, I disassembled it and got the touch screen. Or this is just the glass that goes over there. I don't want to turn it over. Um, so now I'm trying to transfer this to her cell phone. So I'll just need to disassemble her cell phone. Same way I did that other one. Take off the broken parts. And then uh, swap out the good glass for it. And hopefully this goes well. So I'll show you a little bit of progress what I did. Um, all you do is take off the back cover. And uh, take out the battery. I took out the SIM card. And the, um, add a little memory chip. And all I'm doing now is I'm just taking out all the little screws. There's about six of them, like three on each side. There might be just a little bit more. But anyways, just take out those screws and then pry off the case. And I'll show that when I get to that part. So all I'm doing right now is just taking out all these little screws. Okay, I got all the little screws out. And uh, so the next part is... Uh, you need to work these little tabs on the sides and uh, they've done is they've put little slots here where you can kind of put your screwdriver and kind of twist on it but kind of the secret is there's all these, these tabs here you got to kind of work with both these so you can try to bend these ones out and twist these ones up so the first getting it started is kind of the tricky part but once you get it started you just gently work your way all the way around and then this will come off. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, I should be uh, just about ready to take this out. And I wanted to show you something that's pretty important. Um, one thing is it seems to work well if you kind of concentrate on the gray um, part where the screws hold down to kind of get it lifted out. But I know if I were just to separate this, I'd probably break a little ribbon cable. And that's what I want to show you. Okay. Oh, actually, it's probably better to do it ahead of time. I didn't realize. Here's the little ribbon cable, and uh, what you do is you just flip this piece up, and that little ribbon cable should pop right off for you. There, I got it off, and then, then gently take off the, um, this is kind of like the main motherboard, and so here's the bad screen, and now I will just, uh, take the good screen, and start reassembling with the new screen. Unfortunately, I got a little dust in here. I'm going to clean this off somehow. It's got some fingerprints on it. And then I'm going to just start reassembling that. Okay, so well, when you're assembling this, it seems like it works best if you slide this back piece. It, this flexes a little bit. Um, I kind of rocked it in, put that back piece in. And then there's little tabs right here, and I just kept snapping them down. And work on my way to the front and now I'm ready for this uh, ribbon cable and what you want to do is again flip the little piece of plastic up get the ribbon cable in And then once it's in, flip this little plastic tab down. And there you've got that connected. So I got the hard part done. Unfortunately I got a little dust in there. Um, yeah, let's see how that looks. So 
So then I'm just going to continue to reassemble the back plate. Um, let's see that. Here's this. So I'll just put this back plate back on there. Shoot, just drop something there. And then um, put the screws in and then we'll pretty, be, pretty much be done. So, so far, I'm pretty much done with the operation. I just got to assemble it. So, there's what we had. And uh, here's the new phone with the replacement screen on there. So, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, it'll work when I get this all put together. Okay. I got the back on. The um, hardest part was getting these little silver buttons back in. Um, they'll only fit in one way. So this, the, the flat part kind of goes on the bottom here and the curved faces up here. And uh, on this one, there's two tabs and a solid bar. The solid bar went to the top and the two tabs went to the bottom. And then I just clipped it all in. And so now all I need to do is um, put these screws back in. So I'll put all the screws back in. Then I'll put in the chips and the battery and then the back cover. And uh, hopefully it'll work. Okay, here's something important you want to watch for when you're assembling this. Uh, make sure you leave this tab out. When I first assembled it, I accidentally had it flipped up underneath here. Hopefully, there it goes. And uh, so I had to re disassemble everything just to get that out. So watch for that. Okay, here's the final product. Um, when I first saw the screen, I was like, oh no, look, it's all busted. But I guess that's my daughter's background screen. It's all kind of weird looking. Um, that's the only thing left to do is, uh, it says it's got battery and it's picking up signal and stuff. So, just need to make a test phone call and it should be working. But, so, here we go. From this to this. Actually, it's upside down. Hope this helps somebody out.